So if you've been using Microsoft Teams for a while, you may have collected many, 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 many teams that you have either created or you're a member of. And sometimes it's hard to get back to the team that you want to engage in. In using search in Teams, you can get there much faster. So you can come up here to the very top, you have the search box, and you can click go to right here. You'll see go to. And then you can search for the team name. And the neat thing about this is not only does it search team names, but it also searches the names of team channels. So you can also use this to go directly to a channel. And you'll notice the difference here. Uh, these first three are teams, names of teams. And then this one here, uh, you can see that it has a subtitle underneath it. That's an indicator that this is actually a channel. So the channel name is EdTech and it's within the team FUSD fourth grade teachers. So this is a nice feature where you can jump right into those teams and places. Now, the next thing you can do here in the search is you can search by keyword. And what you'll be able to do is search across all kinds of content within Teams. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter here after my keyword is entered. And what you're going to see up here is we're looking at all of the search results. And those search results include messages. And those messages could be in the main chat area, or they could be in the posts area of a channel. We have people, so people in your organization. And then we have files, so it would also search files across uh, all of your teams. And so if I scroll down, I can just kind of browse through the results here to see um, if I'm looking for a specific message. I, if I knew that this, that this was within a message, I could go here, I could go to show more messages and expand those. Here's files down here. But I could also come up to the top and filter these. So I could say, you know what, just show me messages. And then I even have further additional ways to filter these results within the messages. So maybe I know um, that this occurred within a channel. So I can go here to channel under type and I can see um, just uh, channel messages or put in the posts area. I can also filter by a specific team. Maybe I know that this conversation took place within a specific team or channel. I could type that in to further filter. Maybe I know what date this occurred. I could, or I could put in a range of a start and end date. I could also check this box to show results where I was mentioned. Or maybe I want to check this box if I know that there was an attachment as part of that conversation. So you have a lot of ways to really filter your results and get to what you need quickly. You can also go here to files. If you're searching for a specific file, again, you could also filter it here by the team. If you know the team that it was shared in, you could also search by file type. So if you know you're looking for a PowerPoint, for example, we can go ahead and select that and we will only be looking at the PowerPoints. And of course, a date range. So you have a lot of great opportunities in here to quickly drill down and get to what you need using Microsoft Teams search. All right, have a great day.